Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from chapter 6 of Mr. Sadra's book. And we are here we'll be discussing example 6.12 and solving exercise 6.31. Okay, now before we start, let's try to understand what is complementary symmetry transistors. Now these are two transistors. One is NPN and other is PNP and they are joined together in a manner that the emitters and the bases are connected. Now, what is the working of this transistor? Assume that we have a sinusoidal signal. When positive signal comes, that means positive here and positive here, this base will be positive and emitter Let's assume it to be at a lower potential, so it will be forward biased. And the other transistor, base is positive, and this is obviously at lower potential, so this will be reverse bias. That means only one transistor will conduct at the positive input. Now, when the input is negative, what will happen? This will be forward bias, negative here, positive here, so forward bias. But this will be reverse bias because negative here and positive here will make it a reverse bias. So, it, in that case, this transistor will conduct. So, what we can conclude is only one transistor can conduct at one time. Now we come to example 6.12. Here we have the uh, same transistor, complementary symmetry transistor. We desire to evaluate the voltages at all nodes and currents through all branches in the circuit. And beta is to be uh, assumed as 100. Now the two transistors Q1, Q2 cannot be simultaneously conducting as we have discussed. So let's assume that Q2 is conducting. So assuming that this one is conducting. It follows that the current will flow from ground through 1K resistor into the emitter. Now look here, this diagram. So the current will flow from ground to, because this is conducting, so it will go to the base. Thus, the base Q2 will be at negative potential. Now, this, because it is current is flowing from air, that means the base will at, is at a lower potential. And the base current will be flowing out of the base. Now, where will this base current go? It will obviously, it has to go out of the base like this, through 10K resistors and into 5 volt positive supply. Now, this is impossible. Why it is impossible? The current is flowing from a lower potential or ground to a positive voltage. It should be actually other way around. It could flow from positive to ground, but it cannot flow from ground to positive. Therefore, this assumption that Q2 is conducting is wrong. Assumption that Q2 is on is incorrect. That means we can safely say that Q1 will be on because one of the two has to be on. So Q1 will be on. Now with this conclusion, it follows that Q2 will be off and Q1 will be on. Now we can draw this circuit uh, uh, separating the Q2 terms. We have removed this because this is off. So this is what is left here. Now the question is whether Q1 is in active mode or in saturation mode. And uh, we can conclude the answer in this case is obvious. We don't know how it is obvious, so let's see. 
since the base is fed with a 5 volt supply, so this base is being fed by a positive 5 volt supply. And since the base current flows into the base and the current is flowing into the base, it follows that the base of Q1 will be at a voltage lower than 5 volts. So this current can only flow when the base voltage is lower than 5 volts. Now let's assume a voltage. Let's say it is 2 volts. So base is at 2 volts. So from 5 to 2, yes, current will flow. Now, the collector base junction Q1 is a reverse bias. Now look at this. This is forward bias. This is positive and this is going to ground. But this is forward bias. But what about this? 5 volt here and 2 volt here. Therefore, this junction is reverse bias. And we know when transistor has a base emitter of forward bias and base collector reverse bias, then the transistor is in active mode. So, we can conclude that Q1 is in active mode. And we have learned earlier that when a transistor is in active mode, then the uh, current voltage relations, etc., are applicable. So we have to determine now those voltages and currents. And the technique that we'll follow is it is exactly as we did in example 6.10. Okay, so this is the circuit. This one is off. And simply we can draw it like this. So the first thing we'll do is name these parameters. So this is VBB, RB, IB, IE, RE, VBE. And now we can write the equation from base to emitter. Now this equation we can write from here, here, and ground. That means VBB is equal to IBRB, IB, and this is RB, plus VBE, and plus IERE. -E. And here, from here, we can manipulate this. Now we want to keep only one current. IB, we will convert it into IE. And we know that for active mode, the, these equations, or these relations are valid. So from here, we see that IB is IE divided by beta plus 1. So we'll replace it here. So replacing IB, and now putting the values of VBB is 5, VBE is 7, beta is 100 and the resistance 10 kilo and this resistance is 1 kilo and solving we find the emitter current to be 3.91 milliampere. Now once we have found the emitter current we can find the base current easily from this formula. So base current is 0 0.0387. So two currents we have found. Okay so we have find, uh, found these two currents now let's proceed with this. Next item we'll find is VB. VB is the voltage at the base. And from here you can see it is VBE plus IERE. So VBE plus IERE. VBE we know is 0 0.7. IE 3.91 from here. RE is 1 kilo from here. So VB and the base voltage is 4.61 volt. Now we can uh, calculate emitter voltage. VE is IERE. From here, VE is here at this point. So it is IERE. And putting in the value, it is 3.91 volt. Now we can, uh, the collector current is left. So we can calculate the collector current by using this formula IC is alpha IE alpha is 0 0.99 from here you can see alpha is beta over beta plus 1 it is 0 0.99 and IE is 3.9 therefore IC is 3.87 so all three currents we have found the only thing is left is the collector voltage VC now from the diagram you can see there is no drop here 
therefore whatever is the voltage the VCC same will be the voltage VC or we can write the formula that VC is collector voltage uh, VCC minus ICRC and since there is no RC therefore this will be 0 therefore VC is 5 volt. So this is how uh, this question is to be solved and the answers given in the book confirms our findings so you can check the base current you can uh, see the collector current you can see the emitter current and the emitter voltage and the base voltage etc and since q2 is cut off therefore their current will be zero and now the exercise question exercise question solve the problem and figure this for this case of a voltage of minus 5 volt so this is actually uh, 6.21 we have plus 5 volt but in this question it is saying that this voltage is minus 5 volt so let's write it so this is minus 5 volt now what we need to find is what voltages appears at the emitter so emitter voltage we need to find now if you remember this thing we had assumed q1 and then we have said that it is not possible that q1 is on because the current cannot flow from ground to a positive supply but now the supply is negative therefore the current can flow from ground to a negative supply and there that means that transistor q2 is on so this can now flow to a negative supply so q2 is on and only thing we need to find is the voltage ve for this uh, we have to write the loop equation and i found it slightly difficult from here to write and that is why I have drawn it, redrawn it in this form, minus 5 now here, and now you can easily write the loop equation. And remember that depending on the current direction, I have marked the polarities. So we have to keep that point in mind while writing the equation. So we start from here, plus 5, plus 5, minus sign for minus IBRB minus 0 0.7 and minus IE RE. Now putting all the values, IE is 3.931. So we have found the current. We know the resistor and therefore the voltage drop here will be I into VE will be IE RE. But its sign will be opposite because the current is going from here, so it will be, have the negative sign, and that is why we will write V is negative I E R E, and its value will be negative 3.9 volt. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.